the G156 code created specifically for broaching cycles was released a couple of years ago. Now we have a wide range of broaching tools and inserts available on haastooling.com to accompany that G code. And we have also expanded on our lathe broaching VPS templates by including Haas Mill templates to give you the complete broaching tool and programming package. Hi, my name is Bob Singh, and today we're going to program our Haas broach tools on our Haas Mill using our Haas VPS templates. There are over 30 broaching tools available on haastooling.com. Just filter by the type of shape you need and the minimum machining diameter. There is also a range of inserts based on the size of tool selected. This insert range is based on the type of fit you require. A press fit keyway, a clearance fit keyway, or the most common transition fit keyway, which should have a snug slip fit. Other than the keyway shape, we also offer tools and inserts to form ID hex and square shapes. And look out in the near future for a line of spline, gear and sprocket profile inserts. For this demo here on our VF4SS, we are using the 01-0488 broach tool and 02-0861 insert, which will form a 3 8 keyway with a slip snug fit. The VF4 does have spindle orientation and macro options. Both are needed to use the G156 broach cycle. And if you wish to form multiple keyways in one operation, then the G68 rotation and scaling option is also required. Now there might be concerns over the forceful nature of the G156 cycle and what damage it may do to the motor as it holds the spindle in position or to the ball screw with the repeated rapid motion of the Z-axis, or maybe even the potential for Brinell in the spindle bearings. All I can say is we do have some useful data points when it comes to the durability of Haas mills when running this style of broaching cycle. The side mount tool changer cam is made from ductile iron with a hardness of about 250 Brunel. Over 600 cams are machined every month on these dedicated mills here in our factory. We have hammered these mills mercilessly and rest assured, they've never gone down as a result of the keyway forming cycle. Back at VF4SS, the part is loaded in the Haas vise and I've already set the X and Y work offsets to the center of the hole using the probe bar VPS template. And the broach tool length has been established with Z0 set to the face of the part. The VPS broaching template can be found by pressing edit, selecting the VPS tab and right arrow to the VPS file. Cursor down to the mill ID broach file and enter to get started. I will leave the tool number and offset as the current selected tool. I am also going to leave the work offset at its default of G54. I have already probed the bore, so I know my work offsets are okay to leave at zero for the X and Y centers. The cutting width for my 02 0861 insert is 376 thou. The S dimension is something that wasn't required on the lay broaching template, but it is a value that's required on the mill. This is because there isn't an accurate way to set the tool geometry to the inset cutting edge on a mill. So you can take this tool to a comparator or you can measure this dimension on a V block, but we have conveniently posted the S dimension table for everyone right on this template. You can find the updated template on the technical detail page of the tool also. The table shows the S dimension for the HUT-10 tool is 0 0.551 thousandths. So I will enter that here. Next is the material selection. You will notice the depth of cut and feed rate default values and ranges change as I randomly change the material. This template and all its parameters are based on the structure and coating of these Haas inserts only. We are machining a low alloy steel today, so I will select one for the material type. 
The depth of cut and feed rates have defaulted to their recommended values for our material. So I'll leave these as is. Next, the existing bore diameter is 1.498. There is a separate video going into detail about how to align the tool to the mill X axis. Check that out. We've already made that alignment, so we will skip to the next step and enter the resulting value from the devices tab here. 75.35 degrees. Now, if you have the rotation and scaling option, then this next step will display single or multiple. I'm going to select M for multiple. If you don't have this option, but really want to do multiple keyways or even gear or sprocket features, then check the features page, which can be found in the diagnostics under the parameters tab. You may have the ability to activate the rotation and scaling or many other options for a number of hours for free. Check out the feature tryout video, which is linked to this video. On the next step, we just need to enter the angle we want to form the first feature on. Angle zero is set as your aligned orientation and we will machine our first keyway at 30 degrees clockwise from this position and we will form three keyways in total. The template will calculate and form these three keyways equally spaced along the bar automatically. There is nothing for you to calculate. There is more than one way that the keyway depth may be called out on your blueprint. So again, as to avoid the user having to calculate anything, we give you the option of these two call outs which are the two most common you will see. So select T or L based on your blueprint and then enter that dimension on the next step. I selected L and my blueprint calls out this dimension as 1.676. I'm going to leave the top as zero since the work offset is set from the face of the blank. I'll wrap it down to one inch away and start the cycle a quarter of an inch away from the top of the part. The ball length is 1.48. So for the Z cut length, I'm going to enter 1.6, which will clear the ball safely. Check out the broaching on a lathe video regarding clearances and other useful tips. Then it's a matter of entering the coolant options and we can press F4 to generate the code and then we will output to MDI and run this broach cycle. After the last pass on the first keyway, the spindle will change orientation and then the table will adjust position to start the next keyway on the correct path. The rotation and scaling option allows this and the program is at pages and pages of code. And here we are, the broaching cycle is complete. Let's take a closer look at the keyway we just broached. I'll measure the 1.676 dimension with this intertest and it's within print. And here is the mating key that's been used with this part and it's a snug slip fit. That's a wrap. Just don't forget to go to our broaching page on harstooling.com 
to check out all the options that we offer, as well as locating this template, which is available for download. Thanks for watching. Thank you.